Hi friends, hanging out on my balcony, uh, in my apartments. I want to show you guys how you too can have an apartment like with a balcony like that. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is another photo walk video. I'm out here with my cold brew. I'm only standing out here to film this video. I don't, I don't normally just stand on my balcony because I have things to do. Um, this photo walk involves me being in Charleston, South Carolina, running around taking photos uh, with my wife. We got on a ferry, we went to some marinas, uh, lots of boat photos in this photo walk, which is not something I do a lot. I'm excited about that. Uh, the second half of the photo walk, well, or the second half of the, the collection of photo walks in this video, uh, I end up in South Florida. Me and my wife were down there and went to the Keys to work on some projects. And so that's what this is going to be about. So enjoy. GoPro is rolling. Hi everyone. We are at the Charleston Maritime Center. We're about to board a ferry. We're gonna go on some adventures. I think we're going to see an aircraft carrier first. This is my wife, by the way. Got my camera. We realized we were a little short on time to get to the ferry, so we're running there. Very typical. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hi there. Never been on a ferry before. This is our first stop. Everybody jump out. <laughs> We've got a sailboat falling into place here, perhaps. Got some trees behind him, that doesn't really help. Yeah. Oh, we got a helicopter, that's fun. Boop, right in the middle. It's so cool to see the bridge from here, that's amazing. I don't think that one works anymore. USS Yorktown. Oh yeah, sorry. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. Bye, thanks you too. Take advantage of all of the adventures that were potential for here until we left. I don't know why. So this area we're in is called Patriots Point. There are two ships there and then a submarine over there. We have a rather large marina. I don't know what other marinas to compare it to, but it looks like a large one. Large marina right here and a fish house over there, most importantly. I'm a marina guest, right? I love the repetition of elements here. Got the boats with the dock, now we're gonna get the space in between. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See that boat? Oh, there's a boat? Oh yeah. God, I didn't even see it. Oh Did man, I missed it. Got a sailboat. Oh my gosh, this is great. Serendipity, Serendipity. but hold it. Boop. Got Boop. Nice little sailboat there you go. Straight through the marina. Nice, oh he's coming in. Yeah boy. This is big, we got action. Oh he's turning around, what's he doing? Oh my gosh. Oh maybe they're practicing. You think? I think, I, I think they might be practicing because they were going in front of the the aircraft carrier and it looks like they were turning around and coming back through. Mm. Start right there and then just, just kind of walk down. Nice. Yeah. Yes. It is a walking shot, but it's a walking shot. Let me get these uh, jet skiers. Oh. Come on by, Mr. Sailboat. Why don't you be my neighbor? Bye. 
by the way, I learned that's the USS Yorktown, that's the USS Laffey. Ready? Back on the ferry. Let's see, I shoot through these bars here. Oh, that's, that's pretty fun. Yeah, they get a police and coast guard escort out, so they'll run over in this boat coming this way. They'll basically run at him until he turns around. Oh, okay. All right. Which boat? This little boat running. Wow. They'll stop him and get him away from the ship. Oh, wow. That's right, amazing. Park. Jurassic Park is happening. <laughs> There's, they have dinosaurs on board. Why don't we hear more about this cruise ship? Apparently the horn is loud, so we're going to... We're gonna hear the horn in a moment, cool. perhaps. Oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Was I'm still talking to you guys. But I'm glad everybody on there is having a good time. Yeah, that's right. And that's all that matters is that they enjoy their water slides and their uh, quiche. And their pollution. Their pollution sandwiches. <laughs> Gluten free. Gluten free. Gonna step in here, rejuvenate a little bit. Oh, it feels so good. Me and the wife are slightly rejuvenated, only slightly. Uh, we're gonna go get her some lovely treats in a moment because they didn't have the treats she wanted here. Just I'm a spoiled brat. No, you're not a spoiled brat. Oh, thank you. You have a very liberal palate. I have a liberal palate? Yeah. She doesn't. That was a lie. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I had some green tea. It's all gone. Can you um, pay your green tea? Yeah, sure. Lavender. Lavender. You gonna you gonna give it a go, Christina? Yeah. I I'll show you how liberal my palate is. Okay? Yeah, it's you know, we'll see. Are I supposed to mix it? Nope. You mm -hmm. just go for it. Get ready. That's not bad, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, that's actually real good. I like the lavender. No way. Yeah. I'm actually very surprised. I thought I was gonna hate it. Wow. That's a Color me surprise. Have a good day. Bakehouse, Charleston, South Carolina. So now we're wandering around downtown Charleston a bit. I'm in the middle of the road. There's a yellow string on the ground. This is a very pretty street. Yes, yeah, nice. You're a very pretty woman. Hey. You're kind of neat to have around. If I'm so neat to have around, allow me to point you to my YouTube channel. Let me get in the car. It's right here. It's called. Oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> came really quick. Ask him. I'm just following him around. Just going around. To the battery? We're just exploring. That's where we'll head. This way and then this way. I like your style, sir. I like your style. Just came from the Yorktown. That was amazing. His brother, or not brother, his cousin graduated from the Naval Academy. Really? Yes. Is he career Navy? Yes. Yes. He's a pilot. He's a pilot. My grandfather was a commandant of the Marine Corps. Okay. From 1914 to 1920. Yeah. Oh, wow. I could have Yeah, that's. Go back a while. <laughs> well, ways. I live in this building. I own a condo here. Okay. This building was built in 1855. There are 31 condo units here and 26 parking spaces. Uh, all right. Wow. America's still amazing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm James. Good to meet you. Good evening. Yeah. Okay, All right, see ya. A little bit of, a little bit of architecture. I like people in the shots, but this is a pretty place. One can take a photo of just a building and make it interesting quite easily here. If the cars would get out of the way. Uh, that's a Jeep, I can work with a Jeep. Oh man. Interesting. I like the, the very tight and constrained framing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm creating civil unrest. Is this gonna end up being an architecture heavy photo walk video? Such an interesting um, stacking of buildings. They're all sorts of different colors. Got an eclectic squad of naval men coming towards me. A photo might be in order. Fantastic. I got a group of three and then a group of two. I like that breaking up. Uh, There's also a guy on a bench that was, would, would have taken away from what I was trying to do. And they covered him up just at the last minute. In photo walks and in photography and in trying to capture photos that 
are compelling, it takes a lot of patience. I've mentioned this many a time on this channel. Today is a non-patience day because me and Christine are working on like five projects at once right now. So we can't really stop in places and wait for serendipity, serendipity to occur between two beautiful trees, beautiful street photo shot. I got lucky with that one back there, uh, but that's why it probably feels the way it is. Uh, we're just kind of running around and exploring, taking in Charleston. And within that, I'm trying to grab some interesting photos. Look, it's a giant pineapple fountain. I'm on ISO Auto, how did that happen? Who did this to me? I'm just kind of snap, I'm bursting right now because I'm not sure which one's gonna work out. Can't, can't look at everybody at once. Okay, big burst. That might work. Not every day you find a pineapple fountain to put into your photo. Another fountain of the non-pineapple variety. <laughs> That's awesome. Now we're at a place called Folly Beach. We're on our way to a lovely beach with sand that looks great. It's great looking sand. It's all right. This is just good sand. Uh, there's like some ruins that have graffiti on them. Not the most exciting part. Yeah, you bet. There's some dead trees on the beach. Look really cool. And then there's a lighthouse in the distance. It's a very pretty place. There's that lighthouse I mentioned. Last time I came here, this beach was much more empty. I don't know which way I like it better. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a nice photo involving, or two, or seven, involving this, let's be honest, one, involving this lighthouse over here. And who knows, uh, maybe a person will be a part of it, maybe they won't. There's a guy walking past me to my left who looks very similar to somebody who I, who was my friend and I spent a lot of time with growing up. And for a moment I couldn't tell if it was him. And there was like the shock that went into my veins of if I saw this person on Folly Beach, how crazy would that be? But it wasn't him, it was just a random guy. I can still pretend he was my friend, that'd be fun, right? We'll go over to these dead trees. Man, the sun looks like we're in the Serengeti, waiting for an elephant to walk around the corner. Not a fan of all the graffiti on these trees. I'm gonna use this palmetto tree. I think that's what it is. I'm gonna need this man to get out of my shot. Thanks, sir. Just talking to my subjects. Well, that's kind of fun. I'm trying to like figure out exactly what I'm doing right now. Get out of the way, people. I suppose I don't own the beach. This would be a great shot right here, but I got a, a large group of people having a family reunion. Um, I would like to move them, but I don't own the beach, so uh, I won't be able to forcefully remove them with a flamethrower today. <laughs> so. I'm just kidding. I'd use a water cannon. Okay, we're going to go down the beach a bit more, I think. Uh, I hear a thunderous sound in the distance. A flood may be coming. I mean, this is not too bad. Honestly, I just, I just got here too late. The sun is not where I need it to be. That sucks hard. That really sucks. It was literally where I wanted it to be about four seconds ago. Ah, you gotta be ready. That sucks, man. Okay, new shot. Keep moving. Let's see if I can still make it work without the sun. Hi. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay, I can utilize these branches with the lighthouse. Perhaps. Just winging it, I'm doing my best here, guys. <laughs> this one is so tall that it makes the framing kind of wonky. This one on the left here. I can't really get the top of that one in there, I think. It's gonna go portrait, but that didn't really work out. Boop. See how that feels. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, we're just gonna do a nice, simple shot with the beach and the uh, lighthouse here. My wife has the drone up. She's flying to the lighthouse. Maybe she'll land it on the lighthouse and make contact with the lighthouse master. 
Uh, that's that, but I think that's what it's called. And he'll give her candy. Special lighthouse candy. Get it? Hope you catch some dinner for yourself, sir. Late dinner. It'll be a very late dinner. Some interesting groupings in my shots today. Exciting stuff. One of the things when you're taking photos that can happen is you want a scenario to exist that may not exist, that may not come to be. It's good to have that want because it keeps you looking for that thing, but it may not actually happen. You also should pay attention to what the reality is of your current situation, what you're going to find in the scene, what um, the scene has for you. Looking for both of those things at the same time will help you out. Uh, in this case, I don't have some fishermen with amazing fishing outfits on and, you know, a guy with, with a crazy beard. Looks like he's been fishing for a hundred years waiting for one fish. I got a couple of, couple of dudes hanging out. Eh, kind of interesting. Um, but they are what... They are a natural expression of this environment. So I'm enjoying the, the shooting them. Um, I'm allowing myself to be okay with that. And then I put the lighthouse in the background, which is a sort of extraordinary piece of this environment. And you end up with a photo that feels quite nice in, in a documentarian kind of way. But man, do I get spoiled living in Salt Lake City. In other news, these people are making out with their dog. I don't know if the dog's joining in or not. Uh, I didn't crash it. You didn't crash it? Yeah. Did you meet the lighthouse master? At this point, me and my wife flew to South Florida. Well, not literally at this point. Like, we, there was some time in between. We had to do some other stuff. But then we hopped on a plane, flew to South Florida. Got a lot of content creation done there as well. as a lot of creative laptop work in various Starbuckses, Starbuy. And at one point we were staying in the Keys, there was a hotel that we were staying in and behind that hotel was a marina with a lighthouse. It was a very aesthetically pleasing location. I went on a wildly successful photo walk there. Before I get to that, uh, there was a photo that you guys just saw of the naval people walking towards me. One interesting thing about that situation that was very serendipitous was the grouping was unorganized up until the last moment when they fell into this beautiful group of three and two. And that's one of my favorite things about photography is looking for that moment. Uh, but here's the marina. Hi everyone. Hi wife. Hello. <laughs> she always cracks up that I angle my body towards her with the GoPro attached to it. Let's go take some photos. So there I am in this evening. It's actually pretty small. It's a marina. It goes from those trees over there to those trees over there, essentially. So this is the beginning of the good light of evening. I'm going to stay out here until it gets basically dark. What was the word you used for this like morning when I was talking about the different times within stages? Stages, there it is. So that way I can capture all the stages and you could break it down in many ways. You could say that there are like five stages of evening light or you could say that there are hundreds of stages of evening light. Um, I'm going to try to experience all the stages while I'm out here. I went out for a sunrise shoot this morning with my wife and I was reminded, as I always am, that I never regret waking up for a sunrise. I'm digging what this tree is being and I'm digging what this cloud is doing. Maybe I'll put the two together. Oh, we got a boat in there. Oh, this is quite all right. I'm sure it's croppable for eight by 10 for the Instagrams. And every now and then I'll take one and I didn't take it in a way that's, <laughs> that works. That's problematic. Oh, that's fun. Wow. I got a good one that quick. All right, let's go home. I know, right? That's, uh, that's mine right there. The, the now or, or never. Uh, that, was, that was 32. That was 32 right there. Now I came out here last night, shot a bunch of video. And one of the things with video is that incorporating motion allows you to get different types of shots that won't necessarily work in a photo. <laughs> so, uh, you run into different challenges taking photos than you will 
taking videos and vice versa. However, you still can work in foreground elements in both, which is what I'm doing. Sorry, I know you guys are probably pointing at a pole right now. I'm trying not to fall in the water. If you fall, pass me the camera. Yeah. GoPro will be fine, so we'll have the footage. Well, let me shoot. What am I doing? Every f-stop changes the character of your image. Okay, let's see what 22 is up to. Ooh! Ooh, baby. Oh, we're such freaking dorks right now. I'm going to have to get some sensor dust out, no doubt, but... <laughs> I had to clean the lens because there was kind of fun. water on it. Right? <laughs> yes, thank you, Sam, for your contribution to society, as my wife says. I'm wearing the same shirt. No way. In this video that I was in, your last, in the first part of it. Do you ever change your clothes, you gross maniac? All right, guys, let's use our legs and motivate our bodies back this way. Let's generate locomotion in the direction of this. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, a little tight on the bottom, but I can make that work. That's, that's actually a good shot. I was skeptical that that would work out, but it really did. So we got these ice machines here and they're not particularly aesthetically pleasing so what do you do when something's not particularly aesthetically pleasing you do a dutch angle and you have a lovely photo for the instagram urban exploration photography um, enthusiast to ooh and ah over don't go chasing waterfalls oh Christina, did you just dab on those haters? I don't know if that's actually dabbing. I think this one's No, that's, yeah, you were, you were, you were, what, what's that one called? Hit the hit whip. The, hit the quan. You're hitting the quan. I'm not an abusive person. <laughs> okay. Quan, no, no one, no you one. Guys, don't look. No one hit quan. Quan's a good guy. <laughs> okay, I have to show you guys. Could you shut up? Thank you. Okay, I have to show you guys my favorite boat in this marina. This is she. Isn't she beautiful? My favorite thing is the little star on the front right here. I love it. This is, uh, this is my boat. Got it for 64. You wanna go to jail tonight? Let's see how we can work all these different cables and masts together with this cloud. Get this pole out of the way. It's not giving me life. As the youth say, not too uh, enthusiastic about how this is going to turn out, but you try it anyway, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, I might be able to do something with that. People think I'm talking to myself and that I'm crazy. Shots fired. Oh, I love that. That really worked out. Pretty. It's important that I get the top of the boat just below the cloud. Look at these dumb people taking photos. I'm not shooting too many people, at least right now, because um, I'm not too interested in these folks. If the interesting person comes along, I will work them in for sure. <laughs> oh, hi there. Would you like to be in my photo and be my wife forever? Okay, this is going a little bit of a different direction than I expected to go this evening, but this car is very interesting. So we're gonna get, we're gonna do something fun with this. Interesting. So something I'm going to try to do a little bit better at for you guys when I'm filming these is pay attention to where I'm angling the GoPro. I apologize for when you're looking at my knees. I do my best, but I have to crouch to take photos. Um, but I'm gonna try to keep it angled up as much as possible. Let's get a little bit Art Deco with this. I'm gonna cut off the back. These are the decisions. There's some people that can do this type of photography very well. It takes a lot of compositional thoughtfulness. Now we're gonna work the building and the, uh, the building and the palm tree into the background a little bit. See how that goes. Well, this is really tricky. This will work your brain out, Christina. You know how opposed I am to that. <laughs> wow, that kind of worked. You should have 
gotten that taken care of before it progressed to that state. I like your fuzzy dice, Mr. Carr. One thing I love about shooting at marinas is there's so many layers of interest that you can stack on top of each other. You can have a boat on top of a lighthouse in this case, on top of some beautiful clouds, all covered with beautiful light. And try to shoot the edge of this, the end of this, uh, what would you call this? This land mass here with all the palm trees on it. Uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna orient those, work those poles in that are sticking out of the water or get them out. Shot one point where, where the, the, uh, the land mass, <laughs> whatever it's called, was, uh, was sort of at the bottom third with this go with more of the sky and then I decided I was going to tilt down put it higher up in the frame because the more interesting thing than the sky is the water that's uh it's my boat <laughs> got it for one this guy's showing us his fish hey little buddies so I have the hero seven I just got it I haven't shot in a particularly low light situation that I can remember um, I'm looking at it on the back of the screen, and it looks like it seems to be doing a pretty decent job, which makes me very happy. But we'll look in post. Might be a nightmare. Might be disgusting. I might vomit on my screen. I have to edit around my vomit. I hate it when that happens. It's bursting as the light goes around. Ooh, very blue. Okay, this is a nice spot to shoot across the water and the marina. My ISO up to 1600. Do one more wider one from here. Put the lighthouse right in the middle. Yeah. You can basically split the seen in half because um, both the sky and the water are equally beautiful. Oh man, that little starburst on that light. Fantastic. Very happy with that. And with that, I will call it a night. I'm going to go upstairs, hang out with my wife. Okay, that is it for this one. I've been appreciating all of your comments. Uh, they've been very kind. And if you guys have any questions about my process, shooting, editing, sharing, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to engage with you. I really enjoy it. If you hit the like button, it lets me know that you like this video, and I deeply appreciate that. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button because you enjoy what I'm doing and you like to see more of what I'm doing, that would make you a very neat person. Um, that's it for this one. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.